Hey guys, what is up? SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to rank up in Gears of War Judgment. Now, I looked around for a little while to see what the best method for leveling up is, and this is what I came up with. Um, so what you're going to need to do is play through the campaign in the Aftermath uh, campaign, and go through the final section called A Few Complaints. I recommend doing it on Insane. That will get you the most experience. But what you're going to want to do is play through that level until you get to the part where you are zip lining down and you have the Boltock pistol in your hand and you're shooting while you're zip lining. You are going to need to save and quit once you get to that part. Uh, come back to the title screen and get a second controller set up for split screen or you can invite a friend and you can play two player, player online so technically this level up method can work with more than one person but this is the easiest way to level up by yourself so what you're going to need to do once you quit out put the second controller in go back to aftermath hit continue and once you see here the level will load in just a moment uh, you don't have to do this on Insane, but I recommend doing it on Insane because you get the most experience for completing it. Um, I didn't die a single time doing this on Insane difficulty, so it's not that hard, but if you're struggling with it, you can do it on a lower difficulty. So, Once you load this back up in the Aftermath campaign, you will start a cutscene where Baird's going to get a grenade in his hand, they're going to talk a little bit, but all you have to do is just uh, keep hitting the select button. Well, you don't have to keep hitting the select button, but just wait until it says you can skip the cutscene. Right there, I skipped the cutscene, and then you're just going to need to play through this uh, zip line part right here. Basically just shooting anything that you want to. Shoot the gondolas down. If I can do that, I kind of suck. I haven't played this game in a while, so don't judge me if I'm not that great. Especially since I'm playing off my computer screen, but whatever. So we just got to shoot these gondolas down. It's really not that hard, honestly. Especially if you just shoot the lines right there like I am. Uh-oh, got to reload. And I didn't even hit the active. That was bad. Oh, missed. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> and then you will slide down onto this building right here. Come on, drop down. There we go. And then another cutscene should activate here in just a second. Baird is going to say something along the lines of, Is there anybody here that can drive a boat? Or steer a ship. And then the game's just going to start doing that and hit save. Then just hit reload last checkpoint. And it should reload you back on top of the zip line. We'll see here in a second. Or it should start that cutscene over that I showed you at the beginning. Yeah, it's going to start this cutscene over, and you're going to need to keep doing that over and over. Every single time you do that, it'll net you 1,500 experience. So I'm going to do this again, and I'll meet you guys at the end of the mission to show you how much experience I've gotten. All right, so whenever you're ready to claim your experience, just uh, sit here and let it actually save the game and play through this cutscene. I'm going to skip over it just to get through this. And let's see how much experience we earned from doing that twice. Do, 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 do. Loading screens are so much fun, aren't they? Alright, so here's the experience page. Uh, this is my first time doing it on Insane, so I might get a little bit of an experience bonus, but you should get about 1,500 experience every single time you do this on Insane. Uh, like 1,000 on Hardcore and 750 on Normal, if I do recall correctly. But yeah, so here we go. Win bonus, 3,000 experience just for doing that twice. And the second profile is also going to earn... Uh, I think they should earn just as much experience, maybe a little bit less. Uh, they only earned 1,800, but there you go, guys, and if you want to do it again, you don't actually have to play through the entire chapter again. Just hit continue, and it should load you up right back at that cutscene where Baird has the grenade in his hand. So, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you could, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. If you guys want to see some other methods for leveling up on Gears of War Judgment, make sure to let me know in a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.